The defendants like to make a statement at this time prior to sentencing. All right, Mr. Jeffrey Dedarian, you may come here and take the witness stand, please. Jeffrey Dedarian. You. you may proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. I first want to say how very sorry I am for all the heartache resulting from this tragedy. 100 people died and many more were injured. I certainly know saying that I'm sorry isn't enough for people who lost so much. I wish I could give you back what you lost, but I know I can't. I wish I could take away all of your pain, but I know I can't. The grief we feel, not just here today, but every day, for the last three and a half years, is so overwhelming it's hard to, for us to put it into words. Regarding the phone, I wish I knew how deadly and toxic it really was. I take responsibility for believing it was okay when in fact it fueled a fire that consumed the building in approximately three minutes. How I wish we knew then what we know today about that phone. I certainly realize that does little to comfort all of you here today now. By not moving forward to trial, we know there are many questions that remain unanswered. While we do not have all the answers, I promise to make myself available to any agency or civil attorney representing victims of the fire and provide all information as best I can. Please know we never ever intended to bring harm to anyone. Through a long list of mistakes, including our own, this tragedy occurred. We're not here to blame others. We want to simply say that for our part, we understand your anger and we know that your pain never stops. We realize the business we own has caused so much heartache and loss. It has our name on it forever, and that will never go away. We have wanted to say so much for so long, but we were instructed that the legal process did not allow for that until today. I have always wanted to say I will live with the fact that your son, daughter, father, mother, husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend are no longer here and all the little kids who wish they had their parents back. We also live with the knowledge that so many people have been scarred, both physically and emotionally, and that torment will be with me every day of my life. As you all well know, I was there that terrible night, and the memory of that evening is something I will never forget. It's with me when I go to bed at night. It's with me when I wake up in the morning. I tried, like so many other people that night, to do all I could but the fire moved so fast. I was scared, and I wish I did a better job. I'm not asking you to feel sorry for me at all in any way. I just want you to know that the thoughts on my conscience will never be erased, just like your suffering will never go away. There are many days when I wish I didn't make it out of that building. Because if I didn't, maybe some of these families would feel better. To those families, I'm sorry that I did make it out. I know you would have liked it if I died too. I hear the screams, the broken glass, the terror from that night in my head. The images of people fighting for their lives plays over and over in my head, leaving me to wonder what more I could have done to help that night. I do pledge with a sense of community service it will be meaningful and I've thought long and hard about it before today. Those who died and those who were injured deserve nothing less. Teaching others about fire safety and volunteering in a burn unit so I can see firsthand what victims of fire go through every single day. To see how they struggle, to see the things they can't do, and to see the amazing courage that they have. I also promise once my community service time is completed, I will still do more to help educate people about this tragedy and what happened in hopes of making sure no other family has to live through a similar nightmare again. I would never ask for your forgiveness. That would be simply insulting. And no brief statement could represent all that could be said. But please know how truly sorry I am. Thank you, Mr. Dedarian. Mr. Michael Dedarian, you may address the court. Uh, 
I'm Michael Dadarian. I just want to say how deeply sorry I am for the role that I played in this tragedy. I fully accept, as business owners, we should have relied, we should have not have relied on other people. And for that, so many families are hurting, and I will always be reminded of that. I also want to say I'm sorry for not asking more questions about the deadly and toxic foam that we hung on the walls of our business. We were, we, tr we were trying to respond to our neighbor's needs as part of the community. So many times I have looked back and in hindsight wish we had never hung that phone at all or we never even bought that business. If I had known now what that phone was, we definitely would have done things differently. We would have never, ever knowingly put our patrons, our employees, our family, and our friends at risk. There is so much pain and heartache that happened on our doorstep. We wish we could go back in time and change all the circumstances that led up to that catastrophic night. We know that everyone there just wanted to have fun, and now so many lives are destroyed and changed forever. Like my brother said, we never intended for this to happen. I was not at the club that night and cannot even begin to imagine the horror of that night. I have viewed all the tapes, photographs, witness statements, and have listened firsthand to accounts of people who survived that fire. We will never forget all of our friends and employees, Stephen, Andrea, Tracy, and Dina, who worked so hard for us and who treated us like we were part of their family. They too, like many others, are innocent victims in all of this. And I realize that nothing I could ever say or do will bring back the person that you love or make your scars go away. And for that, I am sorry. I'm always mindful of the more than 75 children who lost the love and companionship of one or both of their parents. I will also live with the fact that the passage of time will do nothing to make you feel better. To the hundred victims and to the scores of others injured, our promise is to do all we can to make sure that a tragedy like this never happens again. And we understand that many people want us, want this information to come out, and so do we. And to that end, we will do everything we can so that every question can be answered to make sure that all the facts, not just some of them, come out so everyone can understand what happened that night. We know that that is the least of what you're owed. Thank you. All right, thank you, Mr. Zedarian. Take a recess till about 3.30. All rise.